Hello and good day to all you beautiful folks out there venturing into these darky parts of YouTube. I am Torstein from Cinema Terror, and today I have... Uh, I have... I have no idea what this is. Call it a fantasy, horror, action, comedy film? That's as close as you will get to a description of the 1983 Shaw Brothers production The Boxer's Omen. Trying to explain the plot of the boxer's omen is not an easy task. Basically, it is about a guy who is out to take revenge upon a Thai boxer after the boxer has badly hurt his brother in a martial arts exhibition. On his path to getting his revenge match, he is drawn by the spirit of a monk into a more important massive fight between good and evil forces, as an evil wizard guy is using black magic against the dead monk because of… something? He's evil. I'm honestly not sure if there's anything more to it than that. Not that I didn't pay attention, but this movie runs at an incredibly fast pace. I don't think they let one shot stay for more than 10 seconds during the entire film. It throws so much weird stuff at you that it's hard to pay attention to the storyline. Much of that has to do with, besides the rapping way of putting scenes together, that the film deals a lot with stuff that I know absolutely nothing about. There's a lot of stuff with Buddhism in it, but what it really means and where the weird stuff comes from is beyond me. The film tries to do action, horror, fantasy, and even some comedy, all at once, and it doesn't all that gel well together. The action is quite cool, and we even have a young Bulu Young in it as a Thai boxer, delivering a beatdown that only Bulu can do. The horror comes mostly from sequences that try to disgust you. It's not going for any type of suspense or scares, so don't go into it expecting anything like that. Even if you, like me, will struggle to understand everything, you can still have a lot of fun with the boxer's omen. All the craziness that is going on is entertaining, and you will sit and wonder what the hell, or why the hell, they come up with some of this stuff. I do wish that the supernatural powers that everyone had was more logical or explained, as it was hard to get engaged when all the rules are thrown away and they can do pretty much whatever they want. I'm not even gonna go into specifics of all the bizarre things that are going on in this film, you will get enough peek of that by the video clips I'm using. One thing is for sure though, and that is that the boxer's omen has things in it that you are unlikely to see in any other film. Or is it? One thing I did not know about before after I had seen it was that this is in fact a sequel to a 1988 film called Bewitched by the same duo of director and screenwriter Chi Hung Kui and Un Zito. Yeah. Bewitched is also supposed to deal with spiritual monks against an evil black magic wizard. I might just have to see that one someday. Even if I haven't seen it, I doubt I would be less confused if I had before going into the boxer's omen, as even though they deal with the same things, the story in this is contained and can be viewed as its own movie. The best way to describe this film would be to call it a mixture of Rocky and Hasu. If that sounds insane and impossible, then that's absolutely right, as The Boxer Showman is a crazy movie that I don't like anything else I ever seen. I don't think the mixture of all the genres worked all the way, and the film could have been a bit shorter than its current 104 minute long running time. I think the fans of Hong Kong fantasy films will have a blast with this one. Casual viewers of Asian cinema might feel a bit lost in everything that's going on, but even so, I would say that you should give it a chance if the images passing by you gets you intrigued. I had enough of a fun time with this to give the Boxer's Omen a cool 3.5 out of 5. Have you seen this one? What did you think of it? And are there similar movies out there that you think are perhaps even better? Go on and recommend some to me and the others in the comment section below. If you like weird Asian cinema, then take a look at my review of the Godfrey Ho film The Vampire is Still Alive, also known as Counter Destroyer. As always, I hope this video was enjoyable for you, there are plenty more on my channel and plenty more to come. Thank you for watching Cinema Terror.